Hi guys, welcome to Nyonya Cooking. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare fried kueh bakul. Now, in the, my previous video, I showed you how to make this kueh bakul over here. It took about 10 to 12 hours to steam and then it has to sit in the fridge for at least 3 to 4 days before we can actually prepare to cook the kueh bakul. Now, watch this video to see how it's done. If you do not like fried kueh bakul, hop on here to see how the steam kueh bakul is uh, prepared. Now, I have also cut a very cute uh, Chinese word here which means prosperity and it is usually uh, how we will present it to friends and family when we visit them. So, um, I can't wait to show you the recipe to this fried kueh bakul because it's crispy, it's sweet, it's delicious. It's a very delicious snack and especially eaten during Chinese New Year. So, let's check out the ingredients. To fry kueh bakul, of course you need kueh bakul in hand and then the batter will consist of all-purpose flour and rice flour, one egg, just a bit of water and a dash of salt and also turmeric just to add colour to it. Now fried kueh bakul can be fried by itself or usually it is fried with taro and sweet potato. So it will be sandwiched in between. So you can sort of imagine how it's like. We'll first start with uh, mixing the batter to fry. So I'm just going to mix the flour together and the egg. And also water. So just mix everything evenly. What we're trying to achieve here is to have a semi-fluid consistency. Also to this batter, I'm going to add a bit of salt. bit of turmeric powder. So this will add a nice golden color to the batter. To fry, I'm just going to use half of this kueh bako. So therefore, I'm just going to use this knife and cut right in the middle. And the rest of it can be kept in the fridge until when I want to eat it again. So this half will go into the fridge while we fry this half. So I just want it to be bite-sized, just this size. So normally in the Malaysian night market, you can also find kueh bakul and they sell it in a large, just the size of my palm. So for this purpose, I, uh, for this video, I'm going to just make it a tiny one. The sweet potato and the taro should also have the similar size of your kueh bakul. Here, I'm going to cut this taro into smaller pieces as well. They are all in smaller pieces right now and what I'm going to do is just to sandwich the kueh bakul right in between like this and it would be fried. Okay, we're gonna fry this so I'm just gonna take the sandwich mix it into the batter. So now as you can see both sides are nicely brown and uh, I'm going to transfer it over to a plate just to let it cool down. The fried kueh bakul have been left aside for a while and now that it has cooled down a little, I can now savor this beautiful fried kueh bakul. So let me take a bite. Mmm. Oh, crispy on the outside and then it's sweet because of the kueh bakul here and this combination with taro and sweet potato is a great snack to have during Chinese New Year or in fact throughout the whole year if you want to. Um, it's really my personal favorite whenever I go to the night market uh, in Malaysia. So um, try this recipe and tell me what you think. Remember to drop me your comments in the comment section below or through Google+, Twitter and of course Facebook. Send me photos of recipes that you have tried and this is one recipe that you have to try. It's good for a snack as, uh, during tea time too as well. So uh, till I see you again in the next video, happy cooking!
So because there are little bubbles in the mixture, we're going to pour this very carefully so that we will omit. 